Good morning, friends. My name is Robert. You're watching Daybird Aviaries. I am the bird master here. This is my best friend, Moose. He is a blue and gold macaw. In the background, we have Lolita, the yellow naped Amazon. We also have Squirt Blossom, the little lorikeet. Today, we're going to feed the baby birds. Plural. You're never going to believe it, but we found more babies. Now, I'm often asked why I don't let Lolita out of her cage. I only ever show her why she's in the cage. Well, there's a couple of reasons. Mainly, she's an Amazon parrot. Amazon parrots are very cantankerous. She does not like moose at all. Um, moose has a big cage in the living room, but moose likes to spend his time in here with me. And most of that time is spent up on top of Lolita's cage. So because Moose hangs out on top of her cage, she gets very, very jealous and, and, and territorial. Um, and also, she doesn't like the baby birds. She, she gets very aggressive when the babies are out. Uh, she just saw a putty cat. She did. Now I got the question a lot about Lolita being out of the cage. I want to give a shout out to my friend Rose at Wholesome Roots. Now she lives with an Amazon parrot, a blue front Amazon named Squirt. I have met Squirt. He is hilarious. We're going to go and visit Rose very soon. So y'all be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications. Not only do you know when I upload a new video, but an angel gets its wings when you hit the bell. So keep a watch for new videos coming with Rose and maybe Ryan from Wholesome Roots Farm over in Georgia. Hope to go and visit them very soon. No, sweetie, it's not actually true that an angel gets its wings when you ring a bell. That's part of an old Christmas movie from about 150 years ago, and it's just become part of popular culture. It is not biblical. It is it's not really truthful. It's just something fun that we'd like to say just to be silly. So like always, we're using the uh, Hagen Tropican formula and a o-ring syringe and just some really hot tap water a lot of people would like to mix up their water heat up the water in a microwave i spilled some look at that and that's perfectly okay if you do that make sure that you use a thermometer you do not want the temperature of the water too hot follow the instructions on your bag of formula. Lolita is just not going to be quiet today. She is very talkative and you just heard Moose tell Lolita to shut up. He learned that word, those words before he came to live here um, from someone else. So we're going to mix it up to the consistency of applesauce. A little bit thinner than I normally would do, but that's because I have some T90 little babies. You're going to have to keep watching to see those. We're going to feed the violet green Indian ringneck first. So, Captain Baby, will you get the bird out of the brooder for me? The big one. The ringneck. So, here we got this guy. And just look at that beautiful tail. Look how amazingly gorgeous that bird is. I just love that dark green, emerald green color and that violet tail and these little laces on the wing. Oh look, this tip is a flexible tip. I get those through eBay. Links to everything else is going to be down in the description of the video. Look, I just use that tip just to get into the bird's mouth. And then I just squirt it full. And he is eating on his own quite a bit now. 
uh, pelleted food and soft foods that we're feeding. So he spit up quite a bit of what we had. And Lolita, if she is in, in, she's on a roll today. Let's get your little beak cleaned off, okay, sweetheart? Look how cute and adorable this bird is. If you are in the central Alabama area or willing to drive to Pell City, this bird is available. I thought that I might want to keep it, but due to recent events, which I am about to show you, I have decided to go ahead and let this bird find a new home for Christmas. So let's get those little surprise birds out, okay, Catherine? <laughs> now guys, you're not gonna believe this, but the parents to that baby hatched out two more babies. And look, this one, this one has red eyes. I have some yucky on my finger. This little tiny baby has red eyes. The dad is a violet blue and the mother is a green pallid. I thought that she was split into blue. She's had two babies prior to this to these little ones and neither of those have been blue. That doesn't mean that she's not split to blue. I did not realize that the dad carried the genetics for a red eye mutation. So it's either Lutino or Pallid. So we're gonna see what comes from this. I'm just super excited. So these are siblings to the baby, the bigger baby that we just fed. And even prior to that, there was an, uh, another baby from this pair. And like I've said, normally they do not breed this time of year, but she has just been super busy. And so I'm gonna take her nest box off for a little bit, I think, and give her a, a, a break. I'll put it back on maybe February just to make sure that she's not overbreeding. So here we go. I'm going to, um, let me try to zoom in just a little bit here. How about that? They are adorable. And this is why I use that little tip. I have grown accustomed to using it for just about every bird. But I use that little tip so that I can get the syringe into the bird's mouth. Dad, you can't really see the board because your hands. I know, I have big hands. You know, the parrot would use their beaks like this to stimulate the baby bird on either side of the baby's beak and get the baby to bob its head up and down like this. And then the parent bird would regurgitate food just directly into the baby bird's mouth. And so that's what I'm hoping to do is get him to, there we go. He's just going to get full just like that. And let's see, very carefully here, you can see his little crop, that little bag of skin right there that's part of his digestive system the food goes from his mouth down his little throat into the crop and then later it will slowly go from the crop into the stomach you know, into the proventriculus which is the scientific name for a gizzard and the gizzard grinds up the food if he were getting chunks of food and then it passes on so we're going to give this little red-eyed baby a little bit of food. It doesn't take much. Let's see. Dad, let me tell you something that I think is so cool about like doves and pigeons. Tell me. They actually produce milk to feed to babies instead of pigeons. You're absolutely right. Uh, just out of the blue, totally unrelated facts, Catherine is pointing out to us, telling us, teaching us that pigeons and doves, which are a type of pigeon, pigeons and doves are the same thing. Basically. They actually, re the, the inside lining of their throat actually comes off. 
and that is what they feed to their babies. It's called pigeon milk. And parrots don't do that. They regurgitate food that they have eaten and they feed that regurgitated food to their babies. But <laughs> pigeons and doves actually feed them the cells that line their throat. Isn't that amazing and kind of disgusting? Yeah. Well, friends, we're going to put these babies back in the brooder so that they can get warm again. It's, it's fairly warm here where they are under this light. But look, there you can tell the difference between the dark eye and the red eye very easily. Now again, these are from the same parents as that other bigger baby that we just fed. So... Probably going to keep these two. I say that with each and every baby. I don't know. We will see. You might keep at least one. If they're not, if they're not green, if it's green, we will we will let it be available to a new home. But that. Yes, baby. That wood is the only uh, species morph of that wood that you have had, correct? That's right. I've never had a violet green before. Uh, well, friends, thank you for watching. God bless you. Be sure to look out for more videos featuring the Wholesome Roots gang. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. I'm editing this uh, while I'm sitting in the parking lot at the thrift store. Y'all know I take Daniel to the thrift store um, quite often, almost every single day, it seems. I want to give a shout-out to Swans. Guys, if you want a shout out, then just leave a positive comment down below and maybe you'll get shouted out. Oh, the icing didn't stay how I put it. Uh, yeah. Well, they look delicious. Because the icing container decided to completely not follow orders and directions. I hate it when things don't follow orders and directions. You see, what, well, you see how this one has no... Uh, do you need to trade cinnamon rolls with me so you get one with more icing? No, there's one that has less icing than this over there. Oh, uh, well give it to Catherine. No! Moose! That's well, there were one. eight and there's just three of us here, so I, we each get two. You and Daniel can have three each, I think. You sure you only want two? Yeah. Can you take this and pour it out and bring me some milk? Thank you. I'm being on board. Me too. In a red cup that you didn't spit in. You're being a bird in a red cup? Or are you asking Catherine to bring you some milk in a red cup? I'm asking her to bring you some milk. Okay. She'll do that. She's awesome like that. Yeah, you can pour it in there. You didn't spit in. Or see it. Yeah, don't spit in his milk, okay? In a red cup that you didn't spit in. Okay! Or so often.